Yakuza 0 is probably my favourite game of all time, and in it, there is a mini game where you extract the funds of everyday Japanese salarymen by wooing them with the charms of independent, intelligent and beautiful women. This quote unquote mini game slash way of life has an entire storyline associated with it, so I thought to myself, why not try and speedrun it? Enough with the intro, let's just get into it. Let me set the stage. It's a cool husky Sotenbori evening. Goro-san heads to a cabaret club for a quick drink. Majima nonchalantly heads into a club called Sunshine. But this place, this club Sunshine, it's as empty as a graveyard. The manager brings over his best girl, Yuki. She's pretty, but for a best girl, she's kinda low key. Yuki explains that Sunshine ain't doing too well thanks to a group of evil businessmen known as the Five Stars of Sotenbori. You see, these Five Stars, through shady business practices, they basically shut down every other cabaret club in Sotenbori. This is shocking. These people are trying to establish some kind of tyrannical monopoly. All of a sudden, a rotund man comes barging in. He whips out some classic evil businessman spiel, saying he's gonna shut this place down, but no, not on Majima's watch. Goro-san immediately vows to stop the five stars and to help save Club Sunshine. The Sunshine manager asks Majima to become the new Sunshine manager. Majima agrees, and so Goro-san's cabaret club journey begins. The game gives you a quick tutorial on how to manage the girls. Once you open the club, men will start coming in, waiting to be served. The game will tell you their level of wealth, and after analysing their financial status, it is up to you whether or not to acknowledge their existence. If you do choose to acknowledge their existence, you will then have to pair the customer up with one of your girls. As we all know, there are four physical categories that women fit into. Sexy, beauty, cute, and last but not least, funny. Alongside physical, there are four personality traits that each woman has. Talk, party, love, and skill. To please your customers, you have to take into account what they are looking for in a woman in both fields. If you match women to customers well, as indicated by the customers' smiley faces, you will get a lot of money. Alongside matching customers to hostesses effectively, there might be times where a girl will need your help. She might indicate to you that she needs to ring some peepee, or that she might need a large peepee, or perhaps a small peepee, or even a wide peepee. It will be up to you to pick up on these signals and discreetly aid your employees. Throughout the night, you will also have to solve customer hostess disputes and see off your customers gracefully. And that's just about how to play the Cabaret Club minigame. After getting through that tutorial, I decided it would be unfair to start the run with money already in the bank, so I head out to the streets in search of Mr. Shakedown. I find him, I let him chase my cute little tuckers around, and then I tactically let him steal all my money, strategically letting him bust my ass in the process. On my way back to Sunshine, I accidentally beat up some random goons, so then I had to tactically get re-shaken down. I then finally returned back to Sunshine so I could actually start the speedrun. For my initial lineup, my club roster included Yuki, the star of this club. She's a diamond in the rough who could shine. Namiko, she works here because she loves to drink. She's good at livening things up. Endo, a veteran with refined skills who used to work at a high-end club. And Kirara, the way she talks is sexy. Loves to go to the clubs and loves to party. With these four heroines, finally my road to best cabaret club could begin. Okiyakusama, Irashima-san. The first day was mixed. Unfortunately, we had a douchebag that wanted to be pampered, bullying Yuki. Of course, I had to protect my girl. And then some asswipe who prefers sexy started attacking Kirara. As you guys know, nobody talks to my girls like that, so I protected her with all my might. Otherwise, ah, uh, I guess it went okay. Steady growth in fans and revenue. Since the grind don't stop, we started day two immediately. And yeah, it was again just okay. I gotta say though, I was probably working the girls too hard. Their HP started hitting critical. This was a pretty thin unit to be fair. At this point, we had enough fans to activate the first Club Mars event. And so, Majima and the gang go and spy on the Mars situation, and as it turns out, the rotund man is a money-obsessed dork who treats his club's best girl, Aisan, like a piece of doo-doo. 
After day two's steady growth and witnessing the shocking actions of the rotund man at Club Mars, I decided to recruit some reinforcements. So, I blitzed it to the shrine to see my man, Bob Kiwami. At the shrine, you have the ability to spend CP, aka completion points, to send out casting calls for new recruits. You know, at first I wondered if this would be cheating. But honestly, I basically speed ran the game to reach the point in the story that unlocks the Cabaret Club minigame, so my CP was probably the bare minimum anyway. So, I started spending and the reinforcements started joining. Junko, Koizumi, Chizu, Shiho, Seiko, and Akina. These were the girls that fleshed out the Sunshine roster. We now had a good mix of gold, silver and bronze hostesses along with the platinum princess best girl Yuki. Luckily, my roster now also had a good balance of sexy, beauty, cute and funny, as well as talk, party, love and skill. For day 3 I gave the OG girls a rest and let the rookies show me what they're made of. After day 3, we now had enough fans to activate the second Club Mars storyline event. Outside of Sunshine, Goro, out the corner of his eye, saw men surrounding Aisan from Club Mars. Goro-san's natural desire to love, respect and defend women kicked in. And let's just say he showed those dorks who their daddy is. <laughs> After beating those goons up, it turns out that Club Mars' treatment of customers was beginning to bite them in the ass. Chinks in the Mars armor were appearing. Side note, skipping through conversations in Yakuza 0 causes something of a speed running symphony of moans. Fascinating. Before starting day 4, I decided to reinvest back into the business by taking all the money I had made from running the club and buying out every partner property in the Club Mars district. With each partnership formed, you get a set number of fans. So, with those new partnerships formed and extra number of fans recruited, day 4 began and yeah, it was decent. We finally ended up getting more than 1500 fans in the Club Mars area. Woohoo! And so, we unlocked the Club Mars rival battle. But, before activating that final clash, I decided to give Yuki-san some special training. I took her out for a one-on-one -on -one training session at a local family restaurant and I listened to her struggles like the bad man that I am. She is honestly quite a weird person. For this so-called special training, I basically just listened to her explaining her fears at being a boring person. I guess I can kind of relate to that. Yuki-san does keep a diary though, so that's fun, I guess. After reassuring her with some good old fashioned Kirito-kun Riz, I leveled her up enough to feel confident about entering a rival battle with Club Mars. I began the rival battle, and I gotta say, everything was going pretty smoothly. I was popping off level 2 sunshine fevers, I was thanking customers, I was receiving averagely wealthy people. Frankly, you love to see it. For most of my battle, I was beating Mars on revenue, but I swear to god I looked away from my screen for like 2 seconds. You guys should have been there, there were these babes that were totally hitting on me from outside my window, and in those 2 seconds, Club Mars went into their fever mode, which stole my customers, and in the last seconds of the battle they leapt ahead of us. Mars ended up winning the battle by the smallest of margins. I was heartbroken, this was a huge setback, but the grind, the grind don't stop. I opened Sunshine for business but brought in the Bronze Hostess Battalion to rest my main girls. After an average night, I immediately re-challenged Mars to a rival battle. This time, I constantly kept popping off level 1 Sunshine Fevers to keep my club in a state of perpetual frenzy. And guess what? Your boy won! We defeated Mars and the Rotund Man! After taking control of the Club Mars area, Aisan joins Club Sunshine and wow we what a live wire she is. Just look at the way she dances, the intricacies of her movements, her jiggy jiggy goes beyond anything Club Sunshine has ever seen before. Before I began my campaign against Club Jupiter, I decided that I could use another round of reinforcements. Luckily, working at Sunshine nabs you a couple more completion points, so I booked it back to the shrine. Shout out to Bob Kiwami. And voila, I'd like to welcome to Sunshine our new ladies, Shinomi and Marilyn. Sugoi. 
To make my revenue streams even more optimized, I partnered with every single Club Jupiter area business. I was so focused, so dialed in, I didn't even stop to take an in-game piss. After partnering with all those stores, I already had enough fans to activate the first Club Jupiter event. Metal Gear Solid style, Majima and the gang scouted out Jupiter and Sweet Bippy, the manager of Jupiter, has the fattest septum ring on the eastern seaboard. When we return back to Sunshine after our scouting mission, impossible, Yoda-san, Majima's assistant, he's, he's dead. Yoda! We will get our revenge. I open Sunshine for Jupiter customers and honestly at this point Sunshine is a well-oiled machine. Every man that comes here is guaranteed to fall in love and spend a lot of money. Bish bash bosh, okyaksama su goi, we get some more fans and out of nowhere Saki-san, the best girl of Club Jupiter comes bursting in. I burst onto the scene didn't I? Wow, she's so beautiful. She warns us that some Jupiter goons are coming to beat us up, Majima goes outside and then we beat them up. Before reopening the club, I decided to give Yuki and Aisan, our two platinum girls, some makeovers. The club Jupiter clientele prefers sexy and energetic girls, so to sexify Yuki, I gave her a mermaid aesthetic. Yas, slay queen. And for Aisan, I gave her not a mermaid aesthetic. I then gave Aisan some special training, and uh, she wants to give Majima a massage? How sussy Baka of her. We quickly open for business, Yoda comes back to life, and we have enough fans to start the rival battle. We challenge a nose ring boy to a rival battle, and to be honest, they were destroying us. Things were not looking good. But in the dying minutes of the battle, the first ultra rich man in the history of Club Sunshine sat his booty in one of our strawberry colored seats, and the undefeated, undisputed Koizumi worked her magic. And we won the rival battle, yatta. But then Nose Ring Boy wanted to actually fight. So we did, and we won again. Nose Ring Boy walked off into the sunset and Saki joined Sunshine. And that's two out of five clubs defeated. Do I look nicely?